So I wanted to show you something I made. Alright, so anytime on a school day, if we, which it's seldom, but if we ever have to go anywhere, like on a pretty good trip, you know, for two hours or so, on a school day, that's not a vacation, um, but we have to go somewhere, like I said, it's it doesn't happen very often, but there are some times it happens. So whenever it happens, um, the night before, I always just grab my girls' um, spelling, a couple math sheets, just random things out of their curriculum for that year, and just throw it in a bag, and they do it on the way. But, um, I was watching a video from Jamie. I may be wrong. I think her name's Jamie. Anyway, she's from a, our third grade homeschool journal. And she made a homeschool on the bag, homeschool on the go bag. And so I threw one together too. This is, um, the stuff that's in it will always be in it. Well, for this year anyway. But I did not use our curriculum that we will be using for the year. This is more of like a fun school on the go, I guess. Anyway, so I just have this bag. Um, I have several different library bags, and this is just one I chose to convert to a school bag. It has a picture by Norman Rockwell and little kids going to school. But anyway, this bag has been used for many years. So, here's kind of what the inside looks like. And I um, have a couple old clipboards that my girls have had for a couple years. Just, you know, random clipboards. Just I bought them some new ones. Let me show you what their new ones look like. They're really cute. Here's one. And this is my third graders. And my uh, sixth grader, hers has a puppy. But these are, I bought these at Office Depot. They were $3 a piece, which I normally don't spend that. But they were cute. Anyway. Okay, so in their school on the go bag, they have a couple clipboards. There's a binder. And then, should have got the tripod instead of holding the camera. Okay. So, for their math, for their math, I just grabbed some books, just some random supplement math workbooks that wasn't finished from last year. Just supplement. Anyway, so that's all the math is. I'm not going to go into detail on that. Um, I had a couple packages of United States flashcards, so I threw one of them in here. Now this is the thing that I think is kind of neat. Okay, so it's just a school on the go binder. So in here, I just have a Ziploc bag and some uh, scissors, pins, pencils, colored pencils, and a glue stick. And there's a ruler you can take out. Okay, so I just kind of typed up this whole page are, is just um, for language art language arts and it's just things I typed up like a category we have um, some pages called adventures of spot and some ways I can reuse those pages so that's what this is now the thing that I wanted to say is kind of neat is how I came up with this idea on how to use these pages so here I just have some old scrap pieces of paper from you can see it's different colors, different sizes. It's from various notebooks that we've finished. So, all right. So this is the Adventures of Spot. So if you have seen this before, you know this comes from the Highlights magazine. But you see that date, 2009. This is 2016. <laughs> I have had these things for seven years now. Okay. So when my oldest was, I guess five. Um, she had the Highlight High Five magazines, and I kept several pages. All of these are pages I kept, and then um, these are some pages I kept out of the Highlights Five, and I kept some other things, but I went through them. So I, I just kept all a bunch of pages and stories because I liked them, and I 
wanted to use them, but I just never figured out how. So they have always been in a folder in my homeschool cabinet all these years. Well, last week I was cleaning out the cabinet, and each year I do this, and I always come across them, and I always think about just throwing them away. I'm never going to use them. But I was seeing what I could use for a school on the go bag, and I got this idea. Okay, I whited out the story. So um, each of these, you can see um, the adventures of Spot. There's a picture, and then below each picture, there was a sentence explaining each picture. It was just a little story. Okay? So, what I done is I whited out the story. So, for my girls to use this for language arts, there's different ways, and I wrote some ways on this paper. So this paper explains how to use many of these pages in here. So one way is they can just look at the picture and then just like put it in sequential order. Okay? So that's one way. Another way is they can look at each picture and write a sentence or two or a paragraph about each picture and make up their own story. <clears throat> okay? So that is one way or two ways, I guess, that they can use this page and we may think of more later. Now, on the back of the Adventures of Spot, I thought about just Xing out this page because I did not keep this story. Um, but I decided not to because it has a picture and it has an opening sentence. One day, Bert and Beth had an argument. So how they will use the pictures, just the standard pictures, since it has a sentence already, they will just take that sentence, look at that picture, and then they can write a story you know, going off of that first sentence. So that's how they will use that. And then, same way with this one. Here's the opening to another story. Now this one here, it has, it's like a little riddle poem, and it has this picture. So on the ones that have just a picture, um, I kind of expect the child, one of my children, to um, make up a story about the picture. So there's a lot of writing with this. Now this is one story of Bert and Beth that I did keep the entire story. So it's in order here. This is the beginning. And he has some pictures and the sentences and more stories. Okay. And this is where the story ends. Now a way for them to use the story, the full story, so for complete stories, they can read the story and they can tell me what happened. They can read the story and write a summary of it. They can read the story and list the parts of speech. So they could go through the story and write down all the nouns, all the verbs, just whatever it was I wanted them to write down for the parts of speech. They could read the story and change the ending. Or they could read the story and maybe even rewrite it. You know, if they're like, eh, I like those pictures, but I don't really like those names or where they went. Let's just change it. So, so this is just kind of a little fun stuff that they can do um, for language arts. You have writing in here, you have grammar, you have reading, reading comprehension. Now, like I said, this is just a full picture here, so they would just make up a story um, with using this picture. And we can talk about the picture, well, with my youngest anyway, and, uh, you know, learn about adjectives, words that would describe that picture, like colors and size and things like that. And here's another full story that they could rewrite it, summarize it, change the ending, change the story, tell me the nouns. Here's another picture of Mother Goose where they would just make up a story about it. Here's another uh, writing prompt. Hope, Alex, and Grandpa paraded home with their red, white, and blue balloons. So then that would be the opening um, sentence. And they can just look at the picture, use that sentence, and then write a story about it. Same thing here. Here's another writing prompt. Story. They can make up a story. Here's a story. Here's another story. And here's another story. You know, so I mean, I, I went through the things they can do on this. Let me see if there's anything I missed. Okay, so that's what these are, okay, and I have that section as language art. 
Now this section is four poems. Okay, so these are some poems that I put back that I saved from the highlights. High five. Now the way they can use the poems is okay. How to use poems, riddles, and rhymes? They can read the poem, riddle, or rhyme, and change the rhyming words to other words that rhyme. They could list the parts of speech. They could draw a picture to go along with what they read. They can also tell me the rhyming pattern, like if it was A, B, B, or A, B, A, things like that. They could also rewrite what they read. And the next section, I just titled it a Silliness. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, so these are not from highlights. These are just some pages that... I don't even remember where I got, but I've had these for many years. So these are just, you know, like chicka chicka boom boom, just silly little things. Um, some are stories, some are songs, just silly, just silliness. <laughs> so some ways that they can use, I just listed the category of silliness. So some ways they could use it is they could read the page and tell if it made sense or not and why. They could read the page and list the rhyming words. They could read the page and list the parts of speech. They could read the page and choose to replace some words with other words. So, that was the silliness section. And this isn't really much of anything. I just threw it in here. Here's some graph paper, um, a map of the world, and I need to get a dry erase marker to put in here so we can mark off some countries and also a map of the United States so they can mark off the states and these are just some little mini books that I've had for a long time how to tie a volcano erupts that's something they can do in the car um, this section is just other it's kind of like a little art section here are just some random uh, Bible activity pages that was never done um, so I just threw them in here. And then here's some uh, blank printer paper for them to draw. And that is it. But anyway, I just, I thought I would share that with you. Um, I'm kind of excited about it, you know, because, I don't know, it's just interesting. It's just, I think that they'll enjoy it. And I went over, the, over it with them, and they want to do it now. But I told them... You know, they can just keep it in the car. It's for something to do in the car. And uh, that way they'll look forward to the long trips because they don't really care for traveling. <laughs> but anyway, so that is what is in our School on the Go bag. So, and I will link, um, I think her name's Jamie. I will link her video. I'll put a card up so you can watch her video and see how she does, does hers. So thanks